Shea 45, Play in the Morning. You know we have the biggest interviews here. President Obama, he was on this show. Ow. Quentin Tarantino, he was on this show. Ow, ow, ow. Jeff Rogan, he was on this show. Hey, we can't forget Shia LaBeouf was Shia? on this show. He was on this show. Spitting. K. Hudson. Was on this show. Katie Holmes. Was on this show. Kerry Washington. Was on this show. And now introducing to you, 2016, Miss Universe. Let me see if I could get this correct, ladies and gentlemen. Iris. Edis. <laughs> Edis. Let's see if I can get this correct. Mitana. Yes, that's perfect. I think this is the first time that someone said it. The, the first time. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Oh, you speak French, so I can speak French too. Yes. Why not? No, whoa, whoa. Je suis américaine. Uh, yeah, okay. You are. Yeah, you are. You okay, are. That's okay, good. Okay. Je m'appelle Sway. Okay, je m'appelle Iris. Iris, okay. Oui, uh, oui. Bonjour. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's You're okay. very good. I'm trying. You have to be my translator for this Okay, year. good. Okay, well, you know what I was going to do, because we have a, a very global audience. So I'm going to reach out to any of our listeners, our citizens, if you speak French, <laughs> if you can speak fluent French, Call us at 888-742-3345. Only if you can speak French. Now, that doesn't mean you know what French fries are or anything right. like that. Or French <laughs> kissing. You know, you know what a croissant is. Or or you listen to Booba, you know, uh, <laughs> over in France. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I know, I know. Hey, yeah, you're good. I'm pretty hip here, Edis. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. How, how well, how, how long have you been speaking English? How, how long have you speaking English? Yeah. I, I'm not... I don't really speak English. <laughs> 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 uh, I know uh, my English is very, very bad. Yeah. No, the I'm trying all the time. I'm trying. I'm trying every day. I'm learning. It does. It sounds fine to me, though. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of accumulating more words. Did you mm -hmm. understand what I said right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. understand. Okay. Cool. I understand more than I speak. I get it. Okay. What's your favorite word in the English dictionary so far? Like, what's the f your favorite word that you learned in English? Amazing, because people always <laughs> say amazing. And this is so funny, because French people say amazing to speak like American people. When they want to do like American people, they all the time say amazing. This is amazing. And this is very <laughs> funny, because the first uh, thing that French people ask me if they are, they are all the time say amazing. Is it true? Is it true? <laughs> you know, I heard that that's Beyonce's favorite word. Already? Amazing. Oh you God. guys have a connection. Oh, it's Oprah yeah. Winfrey's favorite word, uh -huh. too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So, would you know if someone was cursing at you? If someone what? Was cursing, would you know? Uh, well, what pro is cursing? Profanity, uh, foul, words. you know, bad words. Yeah. Oh, bad words? Yeah. I, I, if I know bad words? Yeah. I don't know, but uh, well, good, good. that's good. Yeah, that, I don't really know, but I maybe uh, this year I will learn bad world. No, 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 no. I got him. Well, she lives in New York now, so she might have to learn a few. You know it's what I mean? It's gonna happen. Kind of, yeah. yeah, it's gonna happen naturally. You're gonna walk down the street in New York, and you're gonna learn bad words. Trust me. Hey, we have Mark on the line. Hi, Mark. Mark. Hey, what's up? Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Toi aussi? <laughs> oui, ça va bien. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so Mark, ask her, uh, Edith, in French, um, with this this title of Miss Universe, what does she hope to accomplish? Okay, okay. Avec votre titre de, de Miss Universe, uh, c'est quoi les objectifs que, que tu cherches à accomplir? Um, this year, I really want to um, work with another organization, which is My Train, mm -hmm. and this is an organization which do surgery for children who have cleft palate. Because uh, I'm gonna be a dental surgeon, so this is my passion, and this is something I really want to do this year. Because um, I had a lot of problem when I was kids, when I you know, was kids. Mm -hmm. And I really want to help children this year who has kept by. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, Mark. Thank you. So um, Thank you. Ask, ask her, uh, has <laughs> wanting to be a dental surgeon, has she ever dated a guy who had chronic alitosis? <laughs> and if so, what advice did she have to give him? Be honest, I don't know how to say chronic halitosis in French. You don't know. Uh, I I know. I know the. I know. I understand the world. 
Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So go ahead. Go for the rest of it. OK. Fait que, en, en tant que le fait que tu vas devenir dentiste, est-ce que tu as déjà eu le, le est-ce que tu as déjà été en, dans une relation avec mm -hmm. un homme qui avait euh, ce que ce que Sway vient de dire? OK. This is the same word in French. This is alitos too. Um, alitos. Euh, No, because <laughs> my my boyfriend is dentist, so oh. it, it, he doesn't have this kind of problem. But uh, you know, there is something very good and very easy to do is brush your teeth. A brush. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, hold on the line, okay? Don't go anywhere, Mark. We need you. All right. Uh, that was a bad word. What boyfriend? Boyfriend is a bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're, <laughs> we're going to open up the phone lines. If you if you want to speak with Miss Universe, um, and you know she's learning English, she's doing well. Mm -hmm. It's just like I'm learning French. Um, uh, and we have an, an interpreter on the line with us, Mark, and he can uh, uh, translate your questions. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Call us. Of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. The new Miss Universe is... France! <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that moment like? We have her with us right now. Edith Mitana is here with us. What what did it what was the moment like when you found out you won? It was just crazy because I was with Miss Haiti mm -hmm. and I was holding hands with her and um and it's it's a very long moment, very, very long. It's very stressful and we were waiting for a country's name and uh, you know, friends never win Miss Universe and I I say to Miss Heidi Say toi, it's you, Miss Universe. And when, when he said my country's name, I went blank, and it, I couldn't believe it. It it was absolutely crazy. Wow, you looked shocked too. Yeah, I was I watching was the, the I was watching the clip yeah. of yeah. you guys, and you two were kind of saying something, but you couldn't really make. What were you saying to each other in that moment while you were yeah. waiting? Yeah, um, that's funny because Miss Heidi speak French too, so we were speaking French, and uh, I say, c'est toi. It's you, Miss Universe. And she say, no, it's you. And we were so happy because she is one of my best friends during the pageant. And I I was very shocked. Uh, I didn't expect be, to be Miss Universe. So I, I was completely lost. Yeah. Steve never really said her name. You noticed that. Steve Harvey didn't say your name. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> my <laughs> country's name. <laughs> well, well, during the pageant, well, right before he announced who the winner was, uh, Pia, last year's winner, came out and brought him some glasses, you know, like some reading glasses mm -hmm. just to make sure. It was kind of just a joke, you know. <laughs> yeah. Best way to make, <laughs> make, make light of last year's uh, flub. That's funny. Yeah. All right, uh, Miss Universe is here. I'm going to take some more phone calls. Hey, Mark, are you still on the line? Yeah. Okay, Mark is our resident French interpreter here at Sway in the Morning. Hey, you got a super citizen, man. A Sway in the Morning. All right. Okay, we got uh, John from um, Tennessee on the line. Hey, John, good morning. How you doing? Johnny. Hey, guys. What's up? What's up, I appreciate man? appreciate you taking the call. Yeah, so I, I spent a couple of years working for a company in Clichy, Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they several people told me, you know, that they call French the language of love. Um, and it was never really clear to me why. Um, some people told me that, you know, because of the ordering of the words, that the meaning of a sentence could be changed by the, the words at the end of the sentence, which allows the person speaking it to kind of um, She's drifting. You know, change, change, change <laughs> what they're saying <clears throat> as they see the person's reaction on their face. Is that true? Or what, why do they call French language of love? Okay. Mar okay, I need Mark. Mark, Mark, are you there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so if I, if I understood correctly, basically, he wants to know. He veut savoir pourquoi est-ce que le français c'est le langage de l'amour. Uh, et lui, il a entendu parler que c'était parce qu'on pouvait changer, uh, on pouvait changer la, 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 la phrase à la fin de la phrase en rajoutant quelques mots. J'ai pas vraiment compris ce qu'il voulait dire par ça, là, mais en tout cas. Je pense que la question, en gros, c'est pourquoi est-ce que le français c'est le langage de l'amour. Okay, that's funny because even Mark 
doesn't understand the question. <laughs> 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 the reason I, I like add a few words at the end of a sentence, I'm not I'm not real clear on that. But. Okay, um, I I don't really know. French is the language language of love. Okay, um, you know this is my language, so I I don't really find my language pretty or beautiful. It's just my language. Um, but um, maybe it's the language of love. I think it it it's a very Good idea, and I like this idea. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day I mean, in like three days. So, okay. I will speak French in New York. <laughs> All right. I hope that helped you, man. All right. I'm going to go to um, Arturo, who's calling in from uh, Chicago. Arturo, good morning. Good morning, Sweat. All right, man. <laughs> say, <laughs> say good morning to Miss Universe. Good morning, Evie. Good morning. I had a question regarding uh, a woman rights, specifically abortion. Uh, just wanted to know what your stance on it is and seeing if you have any uh, uh, positions on other female issues. I know uh, a lot this of... This isn't uh, the pageant, dude. <laughs> oh, right. It's not, <laughs> you're not a judge. No, let them ask her. She, she can answer if she wants to or not. You know, go ahead. So, uh, I had a little bit too much coffee, you know. So can you put that um, in French, her, her views on uh, women's rights, equality, and abortion, Mark? Sure. Uh, C'est quoi ton, ta position sur les, les droits de la femme, euh, l'égalité et le choix euh, que la femme a sur l'avortement? C'est quoi ta position okay. sur euh, ces choses-là? Uh, do you know Simone Veil? Uh, she's very famous in French because uh, she, she fights for her rights. And uh, I think we have a lot of rights when we are women, but we need to do more things because we need to be equal of a man. Mm -hmm. And I think we fight a lot to to have a whole body. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think we can choose if you want to have child, if you want to have kids or not. So this is very important. Okay. All right. Hey, bro, hey Arturo, great question, man. Uh, I'm going to take one more caller. This is kind of fun for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning French and right. English at the same time. Mark, you're great, by the way. Mark, we got he a is. gift for you. We're going to give you a prize pack. Brian, Brian from Colorado. Good hey, morning. Brian. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Long time listener. Thank you, first man. Time, first time on the, on the air. This is great. All right. Mm. You, that, that makes you a citizen, Good Brian. Okay. Oh, yeah. Many mahalos. Thank yeah. Um, I... Uh, I cooked for the former Miss Universe uh, Hawaii, and I've cooked for a contestant Miss Colorado. And I was wondering if I could maybe chef you up a lovely meal. I'm a I'm a chef out here in Colorado. It'd be it'd be great to get a Miss Universe on the list. Mark, are you did you get that one? Did you get that one? Yeah, uh, but in fact, what he wants, he wants to know if he can cook for you. Yeah, exactly. You know, I really like cooking. I love cooking. And uh, why not? You you can go here in New York if you want to uh, teach me something because I only, only cook French specialties. So I really want to learn some American specialties. So come on, come in New York. Yeah, yeah, and you know That'll what? Be great. She she's at Miss Universe on Twitter, so hit her up on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting through. Okay, good luck. You can find her. She's right there. Hey, Mark, hold on the line, man. Give Mark a round of applause, Mark. Yeah. Merci, Mark. Merci. Hold on the line. Uh, let me um, unlock that real quick and put him on hold. You know, um, I don't know if we need Mark for this. Okay, go ahead. But this question is very, very important. Do you know the French guys who robbed Kim Kardashian? Uh, <laughs> this is very important. I don't know. <laughs> no, you you know, it was absolutely crazy in France because French people, uh, it was a disaster for French people. They were like, oh, my God, nobody um, wanted to go to France after this. And um, it, it was a very big disaster. And people were very afraid when... This is happening to Kim Kardashian. Wow. Yeah, but I've been to France. I've been all up and down France. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful yeah, place to is. visit, yeah. man. Yeah. It's it, and it is a romantic place, yeah. especially well all over France. I've been to the um, the suburbs. Your suburbs are different from our suburbs. Mm -hmm. Their suburbs that they took me to were, were like really hood. 
yeah. yeah, it was different. But I've been on the countryside, the outskirts of Paris, in Paris, the Eiffel Tower, all these different places. Beautiful place. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you. amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Everything is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. And you're a citizen. A sway in the morning. Say amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Cool. All right. Uh, we're gonna. It's sway in the morning. Only on Shade Forty Five. <laughs>